White working class boys are the lowest attaining ethnic and social group in our education system. Also, they're the majority culture. Now, this is just a statistical thing. They're the biggest ethnic and social grouping in British education. If they're the biggest ethnic and social grouping and they are also the lowest attaining, it seems fairly obvious that they're going to have a huge, great big drag on the national averages. We do know that free school meal students at primary and secondary do significantly worse than their uh, non-free school meal cohort children. For example, 20% less in primary school, the grades are, and then rising to 30% um, plus at Key Stage 4. That's part of the story. Then when you start digging further and you look at white working class boys, you've really got some issues to address. And they could be attaining up to 45% less uh, at GCSE in Key Stage 4. And the tale starts to begin at the end of Key Stage 1. So we're not just not making a difference, we're actually, if you look at data, making the situation worse. When we talk about social mobility, we've got more families from minority ethnic groups who will become upwardly mobile. It's not true of white working class, and that's another issue. At the same time in popular culture, the working class is everywhere, successively demonised in soap operas or reality TV or whatever. Um, and that creates a dangerous sort of mix. On the one hand, Policymakers have, have absolved themselves for responsibility for class demarcations and those sort of issues. Whilst on the other hand, they are sort of the working class itself is, is, is served up as entertainment whilst being simultaneously demonised. So you have to understand the nature of class segmentation in this country and the sort of the way that a lid is put on aspiration, a, a lid is put on the, the the assumptions about what you can achieve. that the system works now is fair? I don't know what fair is. children, do you think that they get a, an equal...? No, of course not. The system's not designed to be fair, is it? The design, system's designed to uh, reinforce power and privilege amongst, amongst the middle and upper classes. Always has it? been. Yeah, of course it is. The education system? Well, just what qualifications do the Russell Group want? They want top quality A-levels. They don't want... BTECs and all the rest of it, do they? Who will they favour? If the system was uh, supporting those from lower social classes, then we wouldn't ha just have the same dreary figures about who gets through and who doesn't. It's kind of, it's all there in the data, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, the data's very clear. It shows that the people who are succeeding are the middle and upper classes. So therefore, that's what the system must be advantaging. People don't accept it's a system failure when their child fails. They, they usually um, pin the blame on the child for not succeeding. Reality is education is like a fruit machine. They advertise a jackpot without telling you the odds. Ivan Illich, about 1972, I think, Schooling Society. The government should start teaching all parents in Britain to expect their children to be well served. They should be, do a, a job, they should look at their marginal, they should look at their working class results and say those aren't good enough and admit it. You know, you have to have urgency, you have to have a brutal honesty around how badly you're doing. I know governments don't like to tell people how bad it is. So I think the only way you can change Britain is to start embarrassing people with the ugly truth. And the ugly truth is the poorest are getting screwed. And guess what? The taxes are raised for all children, not just the rich. The taxes are raised for all kids, not just the middle class.